Hey guys, Umar here for Architecture Daily Sketches. Now, first of all, I want to say a big thanks to all of you guys who've been watching our videos from 2015. It's been a great year and a great start for this channel. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking for this video and finally it's here. So in this video, I'll be talking about the tools that I usually use for drawing. But first, I have an announcement that this year we're going to start a new system. Instead of doing the regular video a week, we will be doing three videos a month. The first will be an introduction of month's challenge and the announcement of the previous challenge's winner. So for this year, 2016, we are going to have a challenge every month and a giveaway. So for January, we are going to be discussing two topics that are going to be covered by Adlan, one of our tutors. The first video will be a continuation of the previous shadow casting video coming up next week. And after that, the second video is going to be on texture, shadow, and reflections rendering using pencils. Okay, so now back to our topic. Today, I will be showing you guys my preferred set of pencils, which are Faber-Castell and Stadler pencils. Now, my criteria when choosing a pencil for drawing is very simple. Basically, I'm concerned with the diversity of line weights that you can produce with each pencil and also the range of papers that it works well with. Basically, my concerns are practical. I just want a good pencil that can work on most papers. Now, for Faber-Castell, there are Darker grades are really good. It's because the graphite is soft enough that you can draw a variety of different line weights, different textures on paper. For example, take this 2B pencil. It works really well on a different kinds of paper, no matter what. It works well with different strokes and it works really well even on other types of paper. What I really like about Fabricast is that the graphite for the darker grades, even though they're quite soft, they don't smear easily. Some other pencils, uh, because I'm sure we've all had the situation where we're drawing outside and we'd be rubbing our hands on our drawings and then they would smear. But I found that with Faber-Castell that doesn't really happen. Not much smear. Now, one of our tutors, Adlan, told me that he liked to use Stedler for the lighter grade pencils. And I tried it out and I agreed with him. Because most lighter grade pencils, like for example this H or 2H pencil, they tend to have a very hard graphite and once you draw it out, it's quite hard to erase, but for Stedler, it's a lot easier. Now, this sort of pencil can be used to draw out, uh, to draw out guidelines and to lightly draw out the forms, guides, perspective lines basically just as a base for when you will be flushing it out with details using the softer darker grade pencils what's great again is because they're really easy to erase now for both types of pencils I usually like to use a razor to sharpen it why a razor? Because if you notice, the shape is slightly tapered inside and using the razor is actually a lot easier to sharpen it to a really, really, really sharp point at the end. This creates better line weight and also a more, a more sensitive tip as well. It will respond better to the pressure of your hand so that you'll create the kind of line weights that you want to create, you know, light or dark, up to you. 
it just increases the sensitivity of the tip. The way that you would use a razor to sharpen your pencil is basically angling it here to carve out the bottom or basically to carve out the shape and depth of the tip that you want. And then once you get to the end part, you would actually put it perpendicular to the, to the tip of the pencil and sharpen it like this. We do this to actually prevent breaking the tip because if we do this, we might apply too much pressure and we easily break the tip. So we do this to, sh to chamfer the base and then we do this to fine tune the tip. And that's how we can create really, really, really sharp pencils. Ouch. Oh, and that's another reason why I like these pencils is because their graphite is really hardy. Um, usually they're very hardy and they won't break easily even when you're using a different way to sharpen them. So that's another reason why I like to use uh, these two types, these two brands of pencils. Now, great news guys, because we will be shipping these two brand new sets to the winner of this month's challenge. So the challenge would be to draw an interior scene of the Barcelona Pavilion. You're allowed to use any angle of view of your choice and the winners will be announced in a video coming out in the beginning of February. Now, submission methods are all in the description below and the deadline is February 1st, 2016 at 12 a.m. GMT. So guys, for more updates, you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. The links are below. And if you're new here, please subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching.